first of all, make sure you have total creative control um, of what you do. Because no matter what you do, anybody that's coming in with millions, whether, whether trillions or billions, they don't understand what you felt, the conviction you had. I exactly. remember I told you right from childhood, I knew I wanted to entertain. So that was like, that was a moment between you and the father, you understand? Mm -hmm. In your room, like you just felt it. And you realize your path when you come upon it because you have all the imagination and the strength you need to, you know, uh, uh, pursue it. So everybody that's into the creative space, at a point felt it. That mm, this is what I want to do as a decision. So... First of all, you have to have total creative control of what you do. Don't let anyone change your style, change what you do. Also, make sure, Charlie, you get a lawyer. <laughs> get a lawyer, get, go through the deal well. Yeah. At this point, I mean, I'll be a little bit controversial. I know there are a lot of artists there that need the money to, to, to what? Blow or to market or to do. So because of that, they sign deals. But we are in a day and age where you really do need to sign it like to a record label especially here in ghana you understand because most of them don't know what they're doing and there are a lot of labels that are providing label services to artists not really you signing to them as an artist like 360. Ah, so you can request a service. yeah like 360 or something but you can request a service on just a project Okay. or just a song or a lot of things there are a lot of things that most artists don't know that the game has now changed so much that it benefits everybody most labels don't even want to go into artist development anymore like oh. it's a lot of money so the thing is that the artist will record his song bring it let us hear it let some air and house hear it oh it's dope we can bet our money on this mm -hmm. that's why most labels wait till you are viral before yes, they man. they sign you most of these big labels, I, won't, I don't want to mention names because Charlie, I'm scared I'll be sued. But like, yeah, um, yeah they, you have to have leverage, basically. Yeah. The, 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 Ghanaian, the average Ghanaian artist or the average African artist has always been an independent artist. Mm -hmm. That's something that now, this is the, it's now that the American and the European artists are now mm -hmm. trying to break off and become independent, own their masters and things. But mm -hmm. African artists have been owning their masters since we knew them. All our big rappers, all our big musicians, our high life, they own their masters. Yeah. That's how we've been trapping. So if you want to do something like that or to sign, then make sure first of all, I mean, I'm not against signing to any label, but make sure they yeah. know what they're doing. You see, how is their a &R department like? How is their marketing like? What's their strategies for you? Okay. You need to know all that clearly. Wow. You know, because with mine, I was using more of my social equity. I was using more of my connects to do most of my promos. You understand? And which was wrong because for an artist that's under a label, you don't need to be doing all these things yourself. You understand? So you need to have a clear cut, point by point. Let them explain to you how they're going to blow you. Then you can sign. Do you have some um, collaborations that you did under them that they are still not released? Oh, for, to be frank, most of the songs that I recorded were recorded by me, funded by me. Okay, so whatever cool. producers that I used, whoever, because all the songs in the EP was when I was, I, I, when I recorded them, I was still under them. You understand? But you didn't fund the whole production? Right? Yeah, I mean, because my producer was with me at home. He didn't book the studios for me. Mm -hmm. I recorded everything myself. Wow. Mixing and mastering, I funded it myself. So it's my recording. I executive produced it myself. Wow. Yeah. I've been doing a lot. I've been doing a whole lot. I've been doing, I'm, I'm a one man, uh, everything. And I mean, thanks to my team behind me, mm -hmm. all my boys behind me, you know, trapping with me. They are not professionals, but they're trying their best. And we've gotten this far, Charlie. A lot of people see me and feel like I have some big label behind me, but maybe so, you know. Mm -hmm.